What's up? Inside is Deuces Jacket Vaping Insider. Today, we're going to be going over something I was really excited about. Check it out, man. The Lost Vape. Thalema? Thalema? Who cares how you say it? It's a great device. Before we get into the video, click the link down below in the top comment in order to join our Facebook group. And wait till you see this unboxing. Check that bad boy out. Are you kidding me, man? Just unbelievable. You got your snake skin, you got your leather, you got what looks like some type of lizard skin or crocodile, right? And then you got your carbon fiber. Now, this box right here is a reviewer sample. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to buy these individually. I'm not sure if this kit is going to be offered to the public. From what I know, it was just in giveaways and to the reviewers, okay? But check it out, man. You get all these C-frames, right? There's the leather. And I got to tell you, man, the heft. The heft on this is nice. It does not feel cheap at all. You got some type of insulator here, right? Just in case your batteries actually have some type of uh, uh, tear in them. You don't have to worry. Let's take them all out. I'm going to show them to you one by one. Also included in the packaging, you get an OTG adapter. You get a USB cable and a user manual. Let me take it out for you and show it to you. There's the user manual. We're going to pluck it and file it. Here is your micro USB charging cable. Evolve, you really got to get on the stick. Got to start making your boards with Type-C charging ports. And right here, what this allows you to do, okay, is this allows you to plug some type of USB connection in there via your micro USB cable. Okay, it's kind of neat in case you want to charge out of it, I guess, or something like that. I never use it, but it's nice that they include it. Now, here are the three C-frame battery covers that you get. You get a carbon fiber one. You get a leather one with a really nice stamp on it, man. I like that embossment. And then you got this, like, crocodile skin, lizard skin type of one. Really, really nice. Let's go over each of them one by one. Now, the first one is the carbon fiber. has a really nice, smooth feel to it with almost like a little bit of sponginess. Definitely all the covers feel really solid. They're not like bendable. Like they do have a little give to them, which is good for a C-frame just in case they come out of joint. You want to kind of pop them back in, right? But really, really nice premium feel. Nice texture on this. Great job on it, man. Great, great job. Same thing on the lizard skin one. You can feel the texture. You can feel the ridges. I love the fact that it's green. You guys know I love, love green. All right, same type of case. Uh, this is probably my favorite one so far. And then you got the regular leather one right here, right? This is probably going to change color a little bit depending on how sweaty your hands are and if you're a sloppy dripper or you got a leaky tank. But some people like that worn-in leather look. It's a nice-looking C-frame, you know, C-frame battery cover. Just probably my least favorite out of all of them. And now here, this thing is just badass, man. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but it almost, you can see the little raises in the skin right there, the snake skin. Now, it's probably not real snake skin. I don't know if it is or if it isn't. But man, oh man, I mean, see that there? See the little lips there? See the little raises? Those little, I mean, it looks like real snake skin. I mean, it just feels nice. And again, it kind of has like a cushy feel to it. I'm digging the snake skin, man. Really, really digging the snake skin. I like the green alligator lizard skin like one better. But man, this is beautiful as well. And I think it goes great with the stainless steel. Got a little bit of Lost Vape branding over here. You got like these little gratings right here. Nice little touch to break up all the stainless steel, all right? Micro USB port, plus, minus, menu button, right? There's your screen. It's a DNA 250C, so it's a color screen. Fire button right there. LED right there. More Lost Vape branding over there. More of these little screens over here. This thing is very, very Therion looking. I love it. I love the fact that they went back to the old school Therion type of look. Love it, Lost Vape. Great job on that, all right? On the top, we've got Thelema, spelt correctly. I like it. Like it a lot. 
Got that little star right there. Three screws holding the top plate in place. Gold-plated 510 that I would say, man, has a stiff and short throw to it, man. Very, very stiff. It almost doesn't feel spring-loaded. Very, very, very stiff. Stainless steel threading around there, okay? Now, you've heard me mention C-frame a few times before, all right? And a lot of people love these C-frame mods, and this is a C-frame. See? Boom. See that? Just slides right out, making a C, right? Kind of like a C. And that's where you put your batteries in there. Now, the people that don't like these types of mods, sometimes over time, this part gets awfully loose, right? But you see that snap there? See that snap there? There are magnets there, right? Look at that. I've never seen that before on a C-frame, and I'm sure it's been done before, but man, this thing just snaps into place. And the reason I said it's nice that it has a little give, because if it does get a little loose, you just kind of give it a little squeeze on the older ones without the magnets, and you were good to go. Now, this thing is solid. It don't move. They did a great job on it. Real nice resistance getting it off. I can't say enough about these C-frame doors. Here's your battery straps right here, okay? Plus, minus, plus, minus, battery indicator markings. Lost vape, should have done that in a different color. You got to pay attention to that. Black on black is no good. Gold-plated, spring-loaded battery contacts on top. On the bottom, gold-plated button-style contacts, all right? Let's drop some batteries in here. Let me grab my molecels. We're going to pop it in negative side up over there. Positive side up over there. Pop it right in. We're going to take our lizard skin one. Boom, baby. Look at that. Really, really, really nice. Okay? Five clicks. Turns it on, right? There's your screen right there. Okay? Now you can see there's your resistance, your battery meter, your battery and percentage, your time, which I didn't set yet, and your date and your evolve splash screen. Okay? One, two, three, four, five takes it out of lock screen mode, okay? And now you can see your resistance, your battery, battery and percentage, mode, wattage, settings, okay? Now, right now, we're in replay mode, all right? In order to adjust your settings, hit the menu button, and now you can see it's scrolling between the different stuff. Go to replay, hit the menu button again, it highlights. Now you can scroll between Canthal. Stainless steel 430, stainless steel 316, titanium, nickel, watt boost, watts, and back to replay. We're going to go to watts, okay? Hit the menu button to confirm. If you want to adjust your wattage, scroll down, hit the menu button, and now you can scroll up in one watt increments all the way up to 200 watts. It does not round robin, okay? We're going to take it down to about 65 watts. Take it down to about 65 watts. Hit the menu button to confirm. We're going to scroll down. We're going to go into the settings. From here, you can go into your atomizer, your puff info, your diagnostics, your system, and back. Now, of course, this is all fully customizable, this whole screen and its settings via Evolve's proprietary software called eScribe. There's tons of videos on it, tons of videos on how to navigate through it. I suggest you check out one of them if that's what you're into, if you're a tinkerer. Just to give you a little history on this mod and where it got its bones from, you can see this is the OG Therion. This is the Thelema, okay? And the OG Therion had that, right? Just like that. I think it might have had, yeah, it had a magnet right there, right? But it didn't have a magnet on the side like that. And this one right here, this was a pain in the ass, to get the batteries in and out of, even with the strap. Great mod, but, you know, they got away from this type of door and went to the door on the bottom, right? Now, the difference is, see this one? Much easier to get to your batteries, right? Much, much easier. Just much, much nicer. You can see the old Therion was actually maybe a little smaller, but who cares, man? Who cares? I mean, basically the same width, right? Maybe the new Thelema is a little taller, but I don't care, man. I like all the improvements that they made, but make no mistake about it. The Thelema is inspired by the Therion, and you can see it. You can absolutely see it. All right? 
Let's zoom out one last time. Check it out. There it is with the lizard skin. There it is with the snake skin in its full glory. Really, really nice. There it is with the carbon fiber, which I got to say, I'm kind of digging, man. That carbon fiber is hot looking. It really is, man. Very simple looking. I like that. And here it is with the regular leather panel. Again, not a bad look, man. I think they all look fantastic. They really, really do. However, for the up top, I'm going to rock it with the snake skin. All right, insiders, we're back on top. Let's go over those cons and pros. Not a lot of cons here. In fact, I only got one. My only con is for Evolve. It's not even for Lost Vape. I really can't find anything wrong with this mod besides the fact that Evolve is still using a micro USB mm -hmm. port. Evolve. It's time to evolve. You gotta start using Type-C ports. Come on, man, already. It's enough with this nonsense. But that's it. That's my only con on this thing. Now I'm gonna start gushing about it. Let's get into the pros. First pro's gonna be, I'm gonna be dead straight with you, man. This is the best Lost Vape mod I've ever owned. It's fantastic. They did a great job on it from the way it feels in your hand to the premium materials that they used, the different types of battery covers, the fact that it's a C-frame. It, they just did a bang-up job on this thing, man. I love this thing. It's got that heft to it. It's got that heft of quality. It's just an awesome, awesome mod. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. Great chipset. DNA 250C. A lot of people are going to tell you it's the best chipset on the market. Some would argue that it Yee-hee is just as good. Whatever your thoughts are, there's no denying it's an awesome chipset, and it makes the mod awesome, that's for sure. That battery door, that battery compartment, the C-frame, the fact that you can customize it, the way it just clicks in there, it don't move, beautifully fit, beautifully crafted, the different ones that you get with it. Now, I know the one that I showed you is a reviewer sample. You're not going to be able to buy it like that, but let's hope you're going to be able to buy all the different doors for it if you want. I love the fact that because it's a C-frame, it's customizable. You can go out and get the battery doors and change the look anytime you want. It's just awesome all around. They did a great job on the battery door and the battery compartment. The fact that you could actually reach in there and get your batteries much more easily than past Lost Vape C-Frames is a huge pro as well. Got to give it. Got to give it on the looks, man. The looks are phenomenal on this thing. It looks classy. It looks premium. Nice job, Lost Vape. It's got great build quality. I already spoke about that, but the build quality on this is the best I've ever seen by Lost Vape. They even spelt the lemma right. <laughs> I'm only joking, Lost Vape. Don't get upset, all right? But yeah, they did a great job on this. 28 millimeters fit on top without any overhang. I got the QP Violator on top of it right now, man. And I'll tell you what. It's a great looking setup, man. I think it looks awesome, man. I really do. That stainless steel Violator on top of the stainless steel frame. Just looks badass. I've also been running my Aromamizer Supreme V3 on top of it, and I think that looks good on top as well. I dinged them for the charge port. Yeah, I did. But fact of the matter is, it does charge it 2 amps. I do like that. And you do get balanced charging out of the chipset. Those are all pros. That little wire they give you to turn the device into a charging bank, definitely a cool feature. Doesn't take up a lot of space. Throw something like that in your bag, and you're good to go, man. That's kind of cool. In case you're in an emergency, you could charge your phone or something like that. It's a pro. I like the way this thing feels in my hand, man. You guys know I'm all about that texture. I love mods that have different texture, right? When I can go from, like, metal to leather, right, or from rough to smooth, I just think that makes the experience of holding the mod much more pleasant. And this definitely has different textures to it. I like it. Pro. 
And the last pro is going to be the chipset, right? We already went over the chipset, but we didn't go over why it's so great. Whenever you buy a mod with an Evolve chipset, you get their proprietary software, uh, eScribe. It's fully customizable. You can customize all the settings. You can put custom themes on it. You can put different preheats. I mean, there's just a world of things you can do via eScribe that definitely add value, especially for the people that like to tinker. Let's get into that five star rating system. First category is going to be the looks. Just look at it, man. I like this green leather one, and I also like the snakeskin the best. Those are probably my two favorite colors. Very, very classy looking mod. I would have no problem going into like a nice restaurant and putting this down on the table. It doesn't look like a toy. It doesn't look kiddish. It looks very classy. I'm giving them four and three quarter stars in the looks category. As far as form factor goes, I already told you, I love C-frames. I love the easy access to your batteries, right? Awesome job. I love the way it feels in the hand. I love the way it has different textures to it. In the form factor category, I'm giving it four and a half stars. Performance, what else can we say about performance, right? It's a DNA 250C. It gets an automatic four and a half stars just because it's using one of the best chipsets on the market. Now, as far as the value category goes, we've been seeing this thing anywhere from $139 to $199. And that's where this mod is going to get dinged a little bit. And let me explain why. When you get up past $100, right, at this price point, this type of money means different things to different people, okay? Personally, I feel if you get this thing for 150 bucks or under, I think you did really well. I think it's a good value at that price point. Some people may not feel the same way. There are other people that'll walk into a vape shop and they'll plop down $250 for it because they want it now, right? Different prices mean different things to different people. So in the value category, I'm gonna score it three and three quarter stars. We're going to take all these stars, and there's plenty of them. We're going to add them up. We're going to come up with a total star count of 17 and a half. We're going to take these 17 and a half stars. We're going to divide them by four, and we're going to come up with an average star score of 4.375, just shy of four and a half, probably the best score I've ever handed out for a mod on this channel awesome awesome job lost vape you earned every star if you're into dna's if you're into the lost vape stuff definitely go out and get yourself one of these i know i'm gonna be buying it in black and gunmetal because it's that badass let's get into some of the specs on the lost vape dilemma 250c it measures in at 56.1 by 27 by 92.6 millimeters. It weighs in at 200 grams, and it is a dual 18650 mod that will fire as high as 200 watts. Two amp balance charging is on deck, and it will fire down to 0.1 ohms. Construction is mainly zinc alloy, and it's available in nine different colors. Don't forget, insiders, head on over to our Facebook group, Vaping Insider Community. Very, very active community. Very newbie friendly. We're over 14,000 strong over there. It's just a great place to hang out and talk about vapes. I'm there all the time. I'd love to see you there as well. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you guys today. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.